All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, thank you, parents, guardians, and uh, BWCS school staff. I uh, appreciate you logging in to attend this uh, very important meeting for the fifth grade promotion and celebrations. Uh, I would like to welcome each one of you. Thank you again. So, uh, if you can all hear me, um, if you can't hear me, please uh, uh, put a question in the chat room. And uh, I would like to, first of all, introduce our fifth grade promotion committee. We have established a committee at the beginning of the school year. Um, and I would like to request our committee members uh, let me start out with Miss Carrie Misan. Uh, she's one of our uh, teacher. Miss Michelle Rodriguez, she's a student attendance secretary and acting human resources manager. Miss Vanessa Murphy, she's one of our teacher. Miss Matilda Pratt, she's our language and culture teacher. And we have Ms. Uh, Cass Barrow. She's one of the fifth grade teacher. Uh, we have Misty Lopez, our assistant principal. Ms. Terrapino, uh, who works with Ms. Pratt in the language and culture department as a teacher aide, Parapro. Uh, Mr. Stephen Murphy, uh, who's a fifth grade teacher. And uh, he's also the committee chair. Uh, we have our school counselor, Ms. Lindsay Wicks. And then uh, we have our uh, fifth grade teacher, uh, Ms. Claudine Salzman. So uh, thank you, first of all, committee members for working really hard, meeting after the school hours uh, on your own time. That, that's very much appreciated. So parents, guardians, there are a few changes that I would like to share with you. The last plan that we talked about is out of the window. The great news is that we put a request on school's behalf to the Tribal Education Department office and that they work very closely with the COVID-19 task force. And they uh, reviewed our request to host two events related to fifth grade promotion and both events got approved. So the limit for the uh, dinner, which is a special dinner for fifth grade students and their uh, family members uh, that, um, that we will allow up to two students of choice, whoever they would like to invite for dinner, that will be happening on 18 of May. Please make a note or you can take a screenshot of uh, what you're looking at the screen on the agenda. <clears throat> and it will be taking place outside, right by the little green circle on the backside of the admin building. It's open play area. And that's where both events will be taking place. That special dinner for fifth grade students and two special invited guests is happening on May 18th, Wednesday at six o'clock. Uh, as the plan says, uh, COVID-19 protocols will be enforced, meaning you will be required to, when you enter into the school campus, there will be our school uh, volunteers that will ask you to get your temperature taken have you fill out the COVID-19 questionnaire? Uh, once you do that, then you are, uh, everything is okay. Then you're allowed to walk into the campus. And please keep your masks on. Uh, we will provide masks. You do not have to bring one from home. It's okay, we got plenty. Uh, sanitizing uh, liquid will be provided throughout. And uh, the, on the 18th, uh, when uh, we are ready to serve the dinner, it will be boxed up and uh, we will 
go pick up the box and, and uh, there will be seating arrangements in that area, including the breezeway. Uh, and we will put a couple of big old uh, industrial strength fans outside just to move the air. That's how that event will go on 18th. Let's talk about the next big event. That's the promotion ceremony. That will be happening May 25th. Please make a note, May 25th at 6 p.m. Again, it is outdoor event right at the same place where the dinner will be taking place. COVID-19 protocols will be enforced. Face masks will be provided, like I said before. <laughs> the seating capacity uh, that we requested and got approved is up to 250. That does include our school staff as well. Now, uh, we do have our school counselor, Ms. Lindsay Wicks, if I may request to Ms. Wicks uh, to talk a little bit about the first bullet item, uh, visiting neighborhood schools. Ms. Wicks. Hello, so we got all the permission slips back of the students that wanted to go visit a, um, one of the campuses. And it happened to be that pretty much every student wants to either go to Heartland or Imagine Prep. And there was a couple that were gonna go to Skyline, um, but we that wasn't one of the options. So we'll have to make it an option next year probably. But no one, um, we had two that were gonna go to SAC Middle and then they both ended up changing their minds. So that middle, um, on the 12th for Sacaton Middle, that's canceled now. So it's just gonna be the one on the 9th and the 16th, which um, again, we've already collected all the permission slips and everything's good to go. And then we'll return back from the tour and the kids will have a pizza lunch and then continue about their day, so. All right, uh, I'm gonna request Mr. Murphy if he would like to add any comments, um, anything that he would like to share. Yeah, and usually when we go on these trips, you know, it's a quick tour, it's student led, you know, they show us all their programs and what they have to offer. Um, sometimes they will have some enrollment packets that are available, um, but uh, they can take them then, or uh, a lot of times they do send the school some enrollment packets. So if it gets lost or whatever, and you really want to enroll them, just let me know, and I'm pretty sure I can get an enrollment packet for whatever school that they want to go to. Thank you, Ms. Murphy. Ms. Lopez, our assistant principal is also here. Misty, would you like to share any comments? Um, other than the fact that we're very excited to be able to host an in-person in -person event this year, um, as Jack mentioned, we will be abiding by the social distancing, adhering to the masks and hand sanitizer will be available, but we're very excited to be able to celebrate with the students and family in person. Does anyone have questions in regards to either event? Let's open up the floor for the questions and answers. We have uh, one in the comment, please. Jack, in the comment. How many guests can each student have for the promotion? As Jack mentioned, we have 200, we're up to 250 um, guests allowed. And the way we have it figured for the dinner is 160 and that includes each student to bring two, like their parents, two guests and then staff. So that's 160. So if you figure we have about another 90 people. So with the 45 students, each of them brought two more guests, we'd be fine. So four to five, depending on your family size. So, yeah, I, thank you, Mr. With, I'm with, sorry. Yeah, with the, uh, especially the staff that, will the staff be counted as part of that yes. population? Yes, that will be counted. Uh, so, we're looking at if there are 50 students being promoted, if each student brings less than four guests on promotion day, that will make it 200. Then we count at least 
20 people from our staff, volunteers, administration, uh, grade level teachers from the fifth grade counselor. You are looking probably um, another 25. So that leaves 25 openings for the parents, uh, relatives of the students. So when we get to 250, uh, we will put a make announcement and, and close the gates because they, okay. uh, the tribe is very strict about keeping up to the limits, not going over. Yeah, because there's uh, a comment or a question in the chat that says, if the capacity is reached, will you stop people from entering? So yes. I'm not sure, would we need to make a kind of like a RSVP? That may not be a bad idea, Mr. Murphy. I think when we send the letter, um, we can send a, a, a perforated bottom portion where we will have the parents uh, let us know how many guests are coming. Then if it's going to go over, then we will start calling uh, some of the family if they can cut down from five to three or three to two, whatever the case may be, to keep the limit up to 250. And our ultimate goal is to have the families and the students enjoy, celebrate, but at the same time, keeping everybody safe. I know it's going to be a little bit challenging, but I think with everybody's help and following the rules and the protocols that the school has established, we will all have fun. We will all be safe. All right, there's another uh, question in the chat that says, can you provide details of what will take place during the promotion and possible time frame?" I know we're scheduled to go at six, and I also understand that there are other promotions that are happening, uh, especially in Coolidge at that time. So I'm hoping that, you know, we start on time and, you know, it doesn't go longer than uh, an hour because I know the next promotion in Coolidge begins, at, I believe it's 730. Ms. Murphy, my goal is to wrap everything up and uh, by 7.30, no later than 7.30. And I, I'm planning to start right at six o'clock and, uh, uh, and we will also request the special guests um, and keynote speakers to keep their speech short and sweet and uh, get every parent to uh, to leave at a in a timely manner so they can attend their next uh, ceremony uh, in Coolidge or wherever they want to go. That will be our plan. Okay. Please type your questions if you don't want to uh, uh, mm. talk. All okay. right, so there's another uh, message in the chat, will you be providing a Zoom viewing for those who are not able to attend? So our, we're gonna try um, one of these days to have a live streaming, a live broadcast either on our Facebook for the school site, or we will provide a link uh, to the Google, uh, what you call YouTube. YouTube. So either one will work and we will put the link and share with everybody. So that will be live streaming of the event. Okay. I, I've, I have already been approached by a, uh, a guardian that she had already made plans based on our prior uh, meeting, parent meeting, that she would be attending another promotion. So I'm not sure if that child will be at our promotion or not. And I know some others had, I have virtual students that may or may not go depending on, you know, how strict or how, how much space is going to be around them. Um, so I'm not sure about that. Yeah, we will request our students uh, and, and the parents, of course, that, you know, uh, your attendance um, and your presence at this event uh, is going to make a lot of difference, you know. Uh, student you know. may invite up to two guests 
They will. They, I'm sure your child will appreciate, and we will appreciate, of course, your presence at our event. Okay. On this promotion thing. So, Jack, um, I I wasn't really prepared on to what to or how to respond to one of the parents. Was that if they don't if they choose not to go through the promotion, would they just come into the office like you know they were like an office pickup? Yes, and we just provide we, we, them with the certificate and that is and all correct. of that. We will yes, thank you, uh, Mr. Murphy. That's a very good question, and we would uh, be happy to accommodate any request from the parent if they would like to stop by and pick up you know the the promotion certificate and other award certificates and yes. anything else. Um, yes, we will be happy to. Any other questions, uh, comments, parents? I believe uh, Philly is trying to say something, but you have to unmute her, Jack. Uh, Philly, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Um, I was just um thinking about the comment during our meeting about the, the dress for the evening for the promotion. Yes, thank you, uh, Miss Casbro. We would like to the expect the expectation uh, from us is that to have your child and yourself dress up, you know, uh, because this is going to be a very formal event. So let's try to dress up formally. If you can, that will be great. And I think, I'm not sure if I see on the agenda, but I, um, we're gonna be taking pictures for the for them too, right? Uh, yes, Ms. Casborough, we will be making a video of the event, of uh, both events, uh, the dinner event on, on May 18th at six o'clock and also the promotion ceremony um, on May 25th. And both events will start six o'clock. Okay. But I think we're, we're providing a backdrop too for picture taking, aren't we? That is yeah. correct. And if the parents uh, want to take you know, pictures and, or you would like us, the school to take pictures uh, in a nice backdrop, uh, uh, we will be happy to do that. We will have both cameras, still camera and the video. And the yard signs are in, they will be available during the uh, fifth grade uh, promotion dinner. You will have them all set up on display and then as you exit, each student will grab their sign so you can take it home and put it in your yard. The school calendar with the student pictures uh, is ready to go. We will also be uh, sharing those calendars uh, at either at the, on the dinner time, um, 18th. It depends because we want the uh, students to, you know, after looking at the calendar and they may want to get, you know, some autographs from their friends and buddies. Um, so that will happen only at the school site though. If, if the calendar ends up going home and then the students may miss, you know, or forget to bring them back to the school to have their friends write their comments or, or autographs. We will see how it goes, but calendars are ready though. Jack, I have a question. Please. Uh, um, on for the promotion ceremony, if it's starting at six, what time are you, are you do you want the kids to be there? We will uh, like to see kids 5.30 um, and uh, they need to, there are a few things that they need to get ready for and uh, listen, you know, get the instructions from the teachers. And uh, there will be one escort. Mr. Murphy, did we send that letter yet for the escort yet? Or we didn't? The escort letters have been, uh, they were starting today. Okay. So uh, my class, for the students that were present, um, they should have um, delivered them to whoever it was they were asking. Uh, so, and then I know Ms. Casbro, her group worked on them yesterday. 
Miss Claudine, her group was working on them today also. I'm not sure how many got it down, um, but they should be going home. Um, and then I saw a question about uh, formal dress. Traditional dress is always welcome. Sure. Just to, to add a, the comment about the um, letter about the escort, I did put the um, escort letter in my stream. So those of the for those kids that are online, you can uh, open that up and you can always print it out, or you can respond and send it back to me. Uh, or. Well, actually, what you really want to do is print it out and you're going to give it to whoever you want to escort you as an invitation. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had my students handwrite them. Nice. I mean, usually, I don't know, usually because we practice cursive all year, I make them do it in cursive. But <laughs> since we were limited on that, they, they printed, but I made sure that they're, they're, uh, invitation was uh, mistake free and that they were uh, <laughs> able the they were what do you call it able you could able you're able to read it it doesn't look like Chinese. <laughs> legible yes legible <laughs> thank you mr murphy would you mind explaining to uh, some of the parents of what, what this uh, escort letter what it is what is it all about so the escort letter is where the student and I had them choose, you know, a family member or someone that they look up to um, that have helped them over the years, you know, with anything, you know, that they would escort them to their seat. So they'd, you know, walk down the, the aisle way with them, um, take them to their seat, you know, give them a hug, high five, handshake, and, you know, have them seat and then they can return to their seat. So. It's, and everybody will be up, you know, kind of uh, just, you know, this is the important person in my life that I would like them to see me off on promotion. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. Uh, we have a parent uh, raising her hand. Miss Darlene Anton, are you there? Yes, I just wanted to say uh, I'd like to thank you all for making this happen this year for our for their fifth grade students that will be leaving. And um, also that um, it's a blessing that this happened, you know, um, and it's sure. kind of sad because, you know, they're leaving the school and um, going to another school and they grew up there at Blackwater for all the years they've been there. And so it's going to be sad and but exciting for them to move on. Also, um, I just wanted to say that I'm gonna be going off. I have another meeting to attend to, sure. but thank you. Thank you, Miss Anton. I know these little eagles now, it's their time to fly out of the nest, right? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's gonna be some mixed feelings. I, I can tell from looking at the parents' faces, yes. Yeah. I, okay. I see it, I, yeah. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Anton, for well, making those nice, you. nice comments. Appreciate it. Uh, any par other parents? Uh, you can type up your question in the chat room, or you can just talk in the microphone. We will be happy to answer your questions. Uh, we do have um, uh, our face program. Uh, they are making sashes for for kids, and uh, we will get them ready by the time the promotion ceremony time comes. So that's why we're asking the parents to bring their kids uh, who are being promoted uh, by 5.30. So they're ready to roll. Once the music starts rolling, they should be walking from the cafeteria or from the library, depending on what the teachers decide. All right. You know, parents, one thing that I really want to Thank you all. We could not have done it without your support. I know it has been tough three years, not only for your child, for you, for the staff, everybody has been facing that. But together, I think we, 
we can make the difference. And and I <laughs> assure you, parents, that if your child is getting promoted Thank and you. moving on to a different school. Thank you. Bless you. So if your child ever needs any help, reading, math, books, or anything, please call Black Horse School. We are there for them. They may not be our students. However, we would still love to help them. We want them to succeed. We want them to finish high school with flying color. We want them to attend college. We want them to be doctors, engineers, uh, you know, hire up uh, those titles. We got so many resources. We got so many jobs in the community. And, and I'm sure tribal administration is waiting for our own people to come in and take over those jobs. I mean, that's the ultimate goal. And call us with any questions. Uh, we do have our counselors um, in case you need any help from the SEL side. Um, I think uh, if there are no other questions, let me ask um, some of the closing comments uh, from Misty Lopez, our assistant principal. Misty? Um, again, we have mentioned about the summer school opportunity. Please look for those to come out on Monday. Um, we'd love to have all of the fifth graders return for the month of June, just to give them extra opportunities. Um, and as Jack said, even once your the students are gone, if there's anything that they need help, tutoring, help with homework one night or five nights, just give us a call because our ultimate goal is for them to succeed. Thank you, Ms. Lopez. Uh, and also I want to thank you for all your help. Uh, Mr. Murphy, committee chair, any questions, comments, words of wisdom? Uh, just make sure that the students, you know, um, act appropriately. I know, you know, they're gonna be excited. We got two and a half weeks left, you know, just come to school, ready to learn, you know, do what they gotta do to finish out. Um, and then uh, just get prepared, you know, and like Missy said, you know, we'd like to have them back during summer to kind of cover some of the stuff that we didn't, we weren't able to cover because of the, you know, the schedule we were on. So um, the more they see time they get in class would help them prepare them for, you know, wherever they're going to school. Cause a lot of the schools have been in school for two years. So they're going to have to catch up, you know, learning how to take notes, learning how to listen, you know, know when to talk and when not to talk or when to goof around and when not to. So, you know, I mean, our students haven't been there for, you know, this fifth grade, their last time they were in school was in third grade, right before spring break. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they're kind of relearning how to play school again. Right. And it's a lot of social skills that they miss yes. interacting with each other in person. Yeah. We're finding, unfortunately, especially with the fifth graders with different situations that the two years of not being around kids and learning how to interact appropriately with one another on the playground has done a disservice because they really want to talk with each other, the boys and the girls, and they don't know how to do it respectfully. So we're seeing that that has been a, a big challenge. And I think it's definitely due to the fact that for two years, they weren't interacting on an everyday basis and learning how to speak to one another respectfully and appropriately at school. So definitely our kids, are behind when it comes to the social skills on how to speak to one another and interact in a school setting. So the more time that they can spend with us, we can give them a better shot at realizing how to talk to each other and what's appropriate and definitely not appropriate at school. Thank you, Ms. Lopez. Uh, Ms. Lindsay Wicks, any comments, suggestions? Questions. No, I'm looking forward to seeing them at graduation and it was nice to come back this year and I remember them all from third grade so it's been really nice to see them grow from third grade to fifth grade and it'll be sad but super exciting and um, off to like you said flying away on to their next little chapter so I'm super excited. Thank you Miss Wicks. Um... Ms. Casbarrow, are you still there? I am here. 
and uh, I, I agree with uh, Mr. Murphy and I've been talking to my students. I know that, you know, they want to enjoy their summer um, and they have missed so much. I really am encouraging my kids uh, to please, please come back to summer school. It's only four days. The kids are done by one o'clock. I think it will make a big difference for these kids that are going into middle school. They have missed so much and we will be having academics and we'll also have some fun activities. So I think it would be well worth it to encourage your child to please attend summer school. It would be really beneficial for them. Thank you, Ms. Casbro. Any other committee uh, member would like to make comments, suggestions? It is time now. And uh, also parents, uh, I'm not sure how many of you know, we do also have a board member here whose child is in our school um, and, and is being promoted. So um, board member Clayton Miguel, any questions, comments, word of wisdom? Sorry to put you on the line light. <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell my kids to be quiet because they're being loud. But um, I just want to say thank you to all of the, the teachers that, um, you know, put up, especially with my, with my kids. And, <laughs> and um, you know, it's, it's been rough. It's been a rough um, couple of years for all of us, not just, you know, our children, but, you know, the parents and teachers and everyone. So I just want to tell you all thank you. And I really appreciate you appreciate all of you guys and um you know for getting our kids to to pass too i know bria was lacking there uh the last two quarters so um that's thanks to miss claudine and miss viola so um yeah I, I think that's that's pretty much it thank you thank you uh miss Miguel. uh there was a question here would the family be able to add additional guests if seating is available yes but we will not find if the seating is available until close to the start time I, I, we will be happy to accommodate fill out all the way up to 250 so yes there is a chance uh, but as you know from the historical past that these events are i mean when we were hosting a fifth grade promotion at the uh, district one multi-purpose building it was jam-packed every year before pandemic started. So let's hope we get uh, all 250. And if not, if there's still some seats, we would make announcement and uh, you can pick up and uh, text your relative who might be waiting. And we will ask the, uh, the staff members not to park in the front. We will keep uh, closest parking uh, spaces available for the parents. All right, any other questions? I think we tried to cover everything and answer all the questions uh, that were in the chat room. Uh, thank you again. And uh, if you uh, come up with any other question, feel free to call the school. We will be happy to pick up the phone and call you back if we don't get your call right away. Thank you have you a hand up. Continuing sport. Misty? You had a hand up from Robin. Oh, hi, Ms. Jackson. Please. Oh, it's cl maybe clapping. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank I'm you. Just, I'm just curious. Sorry. I'm just curious. Where are you planning on having it outside? So if you're in, in our campus, um, when you walk towards through the double metal entry gates, right? You keep walking, you're passing by the library, then you're turning left, passing by the cafeteria front. You see that little green uh, grass, the artificial grass area? That's where it's going to be. It's it's an we it's an area that's in the middle of our our class our school buildings, so we have a building on each side of it in the office building, so it's right in the middle. All right. 
Sharm, I got a question. So being that it's the limit of the 250, is it because of the size of the lawn area where it's going to be at? Yes, we, we wanted to host it indoor in the new brand new gym uh, that we could have packed all the way wall to wall, but they would not allow us. So we try to keep the limit to, to a size that will fit and that we can maintain the distancing and keep everybody safe. Those were some of the factors. All right, parents, again, thank you for everything that you do and your help makes all the difference. Stay with your child, help them. Uh, you know, we, like uh, one of the parents said, we, we raised those kids, you know, at Black Horse School. It is time for them to now enter into a new next chapter. And we need to make sure all our students are ready to go for middle school. Um, so your sport, continuing sport, will help them all the way through until they become adults. And we are all here, and we are all here for, for our kids. Thank you for working with us as a team member to make the difference in the educational journey of your child. And that means a lot to us, your sport. Thank you again, and good night. Be safe. Uh, we'll be seeing you or hearing from you soon. Take care. Good night. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.